Hey YouTube, my name is Micah, aka Mod Child, and I'm creating this channel to document my process and my journey as I try to break into the field of cybersecurity. I hope to use this platform to archive my home labs, do walkthroughs of CTFs, and share um, the projects that I'm working on. And hopefully I can collaborate and share ideas with you guys as well. So um, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So to get started, you want to make sure that you have some kind of hypervisor installed. I'm using a bare metal hypervisor, which means that it's the only OS installed on this machine. So I have a dedicated virtual lab to my uh, networking, security stuff. Um, there's other ones like um, Proxmox and Zen Server that's free and open source. But I prefer using SXI because that's what I have experience with. Um, so we're going to install PFSense onto the hypervisor, which is ESXi. It's going to become my primary firewall and router. It's going to replace my Netgear R7000. And so PFSense is an open source uh, firewall router. And um, it's a great way to get your hands dirty with a bit of networking experience. So uh, in the future videos, I'm going to be installing like IDS, IPS, um, segmenting the network with VLANs doing some malware traffic analysis, that kind of thing, but we're going to stick to the basics for now. And um, just a word of warning, if you're going to do this, if you're going to copy my setup, get a dedicated NIC. Don't use USB NICs. They're unreliable and they can cause you a bunch of headache and stress. Um, but anyways, let's get to the next step. So here's a quick overview of what I plan to accomplish with my network, and this is not uh, exhaustive at all. This is just a few of the things I've had in mind so far. Um, as you see, the blue is a virtual connections, um, plenty of those, uh, orange is wireless, and green is my physical physical connection. So I'm only going to have three things actually connected physically to my network. Everything else is wireless or virtual. And um, some security lab stuff, um, some home lab things, and uh, if you don't know what own cloud is, I will look this up. It's really cool. It's basically like a personal cloud. But I won't spend too much time on this. So anyways, so once you have your hypervisor installed and you can get to your network or to your web client, you want to go ahead and log into that. So we're going to leave, we're going to leave this right here for right now. And we're going to go to pfsense.org and we're going to download um, the ISO from their website to install as our virtual machine. So my architecture is 64 bit. So I'm gonna choose 64 bit mirror New York cause I live on the East coast and hit download. Oh, uh, one, one thing. So you wanna make sure that you're getting the ISO, right? So here's the ISO It's a zipped file, but we can unzip that and then do a checksum on it here in a second. So we're going to let that install. We're going to get our SHA-256 checksum from their website. We're just going to verify this hash to make sure that we're downloading what we actually think we're downloading and that it hasn't been um, manipulated or, you know, it hasn't lost any integrity. So let's copy that. Open my SHA checker. So I've already browsed to this path. I've already downloaded it previously. And here is the hash from that uh, zip folder and I can repaste this I guess verify and you see the hash match so we know that it has not lost any integrity um, through downloading or uploading this file so we can close this out go back to our hypervisor we're going to browse to the data store and we're going to upload the ISO here so just for a browser, ISOs, uh, well, you probably don't have this, but I'll recommend that you create an ISOs folder to manage all of your ISO files. And we're going to hit upload and navigate to that ISO and hit open. And it will start to upload. You'll see it right here. I've already done this to save some time. So you see our PFSense 2.5 ISO. Close it out. And so we want to set up our network first before we do anything else. We already have the ISO installed. We can get into our hypervisor. Now we need to set up our network. 
So um, if we refer back to our network diagram, we know that we have three physical connections, right? And as you see here, I have well, I have five port NIC or four port NIC and then one built in. But I'm only going to use one or the management, the built in one for my management network, which correlates with this right here. And then we're going to use one for our WAN here. And then we're going to use one for our wireless LAN, which is here. So first we're going to configure our management network slash LAN. So we're gonna hit add virtual switch. Or yeah, hit add virtual switch. Actually, I'm sorry, I misspoke. We're gonna configure our uh, wireless, our WAN first, excuse. And we're gonna change this to one. So VM Nick one is our WAN. And you can see the physical NICs here. We're going to add port group. We're going to add a port group for WAN. Keep the VLAN the same. The V switch or virtual switch that we just added, we're going to configure that to be um, the switch that is connected to this port group. Hit add. Then we're going to add another one for our LAN. And like I said previously, our management network and our LAN are going to be on the same switch or the same port. So we're going to hit add port group, LAN, and V switch, D switch zero, which correlates to our uh, VM NIC zero, which is our management network. Hit add. So now we have our LAN slash management network, and we have our WAN, which is on its own virtual switch. So we're going to come over here to virtual machines. We're done with that part for now. And we're going to go create reg register VM, create a new virtual machine, hit next, name our machine, um, crap. other free BSD 12. And we know that because if we go to the releases page of PFSense, we see that PFSense 2.5 is based on 12.2. So hit next. Our data store, the three terabyte um, drive that I was talking about earlier. Next. And so we're going to um, allocate resources to our VM now. So you might be wondering how much uh, resources do I need for my installation? Um, of course, everyone's going to be different, but for mine, it's going to configure it to be a small office branch office installation. This is using a quad or sorry, dual core ARM processor, one gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, and eight gigabytes of um, hard disk space. So, one gig, uh, one CPU. Let's say one gig RAM. Oh, that's already there. And eight gigabytes of hard disk space. So we don't have to do anything here. Um, so we, as you see, we only have one wireless adapter right now and that's going to be an issue because we need something to route our LAN into our network or our WAN into our network so hit add network adapter choose our WAN and make sure your LAN is selected down here and then we want to choose our ISO to be booted into um, at the first startup so select our ISO and then hit next make sure everything looks good and hit finish and we just created our first virtual machine. Well, not my first, but you get what I'm saying. So let me take a pause right here. So a little side note to make this virtual networking thing make a little more sense. Um, so if we go to the networking tab, we go to LAN, it shows what port it's connected to. So we see VMNIC0 is connected to our LAN, and we see VMNIC0 is also connected to our management network. So it's the same for, uh, physical adapter, but it has two um, virtual port groups or virtual connections routed to it. And we see our WAN connected to our VMNIC1, which is not connected yet. So that's why it's not green. Just a little side note. All right, so we want to start our PFSense machine. 
and I'm going to try to run through this as quick as possible. I don't want to spend too much time. I've already used a lot of time apparently. Um, but if you click on the left click on the uh, machine while it's running, you can view the virtual console. And if we left click that and we can scale this out a bit, make it easier to see. And um, I'm going to let this run. Oh, that's done already. Cool. So we hit accept. Hit next, hit install. Hit continue. Go auto, auto UFS BIOS install, installation method. We're going to let this run. I need a new chair. All right, I'm gonna come back when this is done. All right, so we're back. Um, the installation is now finished before exiting, blah, blah, blah. We don't wanna open the shell or make any final modifications. Um, so I'm gonna hit yes. I mean, sorry, I'm gonna hit no. Then hit reboot. And I'm going to come back once again once this is finished. All right, so like I said, we're going to set up VLANs later. So we're going to hit no at this or N at this prompt, which stands for no. That's yes and no. Hit N, enter uh, the WAN interface. If we refer back to our diagram, we know that VMX, VMX1 is our WAN, which is um, it correlates to VMNIC1. So VMX1, enter. VMX0 is our LAN, hit enter, yes, let that run. So I made a mistake earlier, you need to go back into your VM settings, change network adapter 1 to LAN and network adapter 2 to WAN. This is going to make sure that VMX0, the first instance, is your LAN adapter and then VMX1 is your WAN adapter. Hit save, reboot the machine which I already did, and then go ahead and plug your modem into the WAN port and then your PC into the LAN port. And once you do this, um, when it comes back up, you will have your public IP and your LAN will be set to what we, um, what it was defaulted to. And so if I navigate to that IP address now at 192.168.1.1, I should come to the PFSense web configurator page. And there it is. So the default login is admin PFSense. And then we're going to run through this. It says welcome, hit next, next. Host name, I'm going to change this to mod.com. Oops. I'm going to keep this as PFSense, sorry. Change this to mod.com. Primary DNS 8.8.8.8 DNS secondary 8.8.4 oops can't see dot four dot four hit next change this to your time zone wherever you may be hit next uh, don't worry about this page for now hit next make sure your LAN IP your gateway is set to uh, the first IP address in your subnet next and then you want to change your admin password so I'm going to use or reuse an old password and then hit reload and now we have come to the end of this tutorial so congratulations PF Sense is now configured hit finish and Is reloading so I'm going to keep this right here um, feel free to hit accept I'm trying to blur out my public IP but um hopefully you learned something from this installation video um, I know I rambled on for a little bit and I made a few mistakes but it's all about the learning process right so if you like this video please like subscribe and um, leave a comment if you have any suggestions for future videos or you know any um, criticisms or um, feedback and stay tuned for the next one.